somewhere in the coastal waters of Southeast Asia. Mi wants to explore the sea on her new surfboard. Wow, this is a perfect wave. I have to catch and fight it. Mi is caught by the wave and gets washed up with her surfboard on shallow coastal waters far away from her home. What happened? Where am I? I want to go home. Look at this. This is crazy. But so cute. Hello. I saw a strong wave. It must have brought you here from way over there. Climate-related extreme weather events have increased in the last few years. In our village, we face stronger waves, heavy storm, heavy rainfall, but also a much longer dry season because the rains don't come. That is terrible. Why is it happening? It is because of climate change. CO2 emissions intensify the natural greenhouse effect. Some of the sun's rays hitting the Earth's surface are trapped in the atmosphere because of the accumulation of greenhouse gases, which comes mainly from the burning of fossil fuels and other types of land uses and heat up the land and oceans, disturbing the world's weather systems. As a consequence of global warming, the polar ice is melting and the sea level is rising and the sea is heating up. Plankton, the main food source for fishes, dies off and fish migrate away from the coast to other areas where they can find food. Another reason for the decreasing fish stock is that more people fish in this area. Fishing does not provide us with enough money to feed our families anymore. Climate change causes extreme weather events. High waves and coastal erosion lead to flooding of houses at the coast, and people have to move away. Our aquaculture ponds are destroyed, and milkfish raised in the ponds are washed up in the open sea. The timing of the dry and rainy seasons is also changing. This makes it difficult for farmers to plan their sowing. Long droughts and heavy rainfall can destroy their crops. Do the people who live here have to leave their villages? Do they have to face a lot of problems? Do not worry so much, me. There are ways for coastal communities to adapt to their changing environment and continue to stay in their villages. What do you mean? What does adapting to their changing environment mean? Is it difficult? We do not have to do it alone. We have aid organizations like CARE helping us to do this. Let me explain everything to you. Adaptation requires different kinds of people working together. Before we can begin to adapt, we have to know how the climate affects us and what we have to adapt to. We analyze how weather affects our community and create a hazard map. It is also important to know about the future climate impacts. The temperature will increase steadily over time, with more hot days than cool days. The rainfall will decrease, but there will be more days with heavy rain. The monsoon winds will become stronger. With this type of information about the weather, we can better prepare for weather events. Fishermen and farmers can better plan their activities so they can earn a higher income. But we need training to understand this information and apply to our lives. People living in the coast depend on functioning ecosystems, which provide food and sources of income for the villagers and protect communities from natural hazards. Villagers need to have diversified income sources. If people cannot go fishing due to strong wind and waves, they can focus on another economic activity like processing of raw products for the market. This makes them less reliant on fishing and farming, which are dependent on weather events. So, what kinds of adaptation activities are you doing in the community? Me. This is my friend Lee. Lee and his friends are involved in mangrove restoration activities. Hi, me. A few years ago, this area was covered with mangroves. But more and more people moved to the coast and cut the trees. 
They needed more space for economic activities like fishing and shrimp farming to earn money for their living. To make shrimps grow faster, farmers used chemicals and antibiotics which polluted the groundwater. After a few years, our ponds turned toxic and were abandoned. Mangroves play an important role in an ecosystem. They provide breeding space for fish, prawns, snails and mussels. They filter the water. Mangroves provide protection from erosion, flooding and storms and absorb carbon dioxide emissions. That is why it is important not to cut mangrove and to preserve them. Coastal residents realised that mangrove forests had many benefits, including protecting their houses from flooding. The whole village wanted to plant mangroves again, but this was not as easy as it sounds. Is it difficult to grow mangroves, Lee? The young mangrove seedlings are not strong enough to withstand the strong winds and waves. That is why we build different roads of bamboo walls to reduce the energy of waves and to stop the erosion and gain soil sediment in which the mangroves can grow. We nurse seedlings from different neighbouring villages which the villagers and the students planted between the bamboo walls. The bamboo wall will last around five years. In five years, mangroves are strong enough to survive. In a few years, our coastal area will look like this. Thanks, Lee. I will show me our village. Bye, Lee. Hey, fisherman, what's that? These are fish houses, me. Over there is my friend Chaka. He can tell us more about the fish houses. Come on. Hi, Chaka. This is me. Hey, Chaka. Why do we have to build a house for fishes? The fishes here near the coast got less and less within the last years. This happened because too many people caught fishes here, but also due to the rising sea temperature. We create fish houses to create a fish habitat near the coast. It consists of concrete tubes, which are arranged at the bottom of the sea. With time, the tubes will be covered with mussels and algae, which are an important source of nutrition for fishes. Fish larva is also released in the fish house. The tubes protect them from strong current and predators. We mark the fish houses to prevent boats from entering the fish house zone. All coastal villages in our area have to be informed that they should not catch fish during breeding times to allow the fish stock to grow. Now we can find fish near of the coast and have enough for selling it on the market. That sounds great, Chaka. I'm happy to learn that you help the fishes to find a new home near your coast. Bye! What are these women doing for the cultivation in the sea? They prepare seaweed for the cultivation in the sea. They produce crackers with the seaweed. Let's have a closer look. We prepare seaweed for the cultivation in the sea. After we bound the seedlings to the rope, the men will transport it on their boats to the open sea and put the ropes in the water, fixed between wooden stakes with empty bottles, which serve as buoy for the seaweed. The seaweed farmers control the growth process and measure the weight of one mark sample plant once a month. If a plant gets sick, they have to remove the plant from the rope. After 45 days, the plants are big enough to be harvested. We wash the seaweed several times and dry it under the sun for one day to bleach it. We cook the white seaweed until it gets soft. We mix the seaweed with water and flour and prepare dough. We roll it out, cut it in pieces and fry crackers. We pack the crackers and sell it to the supermarket. Now we have extra income to support our families. This is delicious. Thank you very much. Bye. Fishermen, I'm happy to see that people found solutions to live in a changing environment and understood that sustainable development is crucial to maintain their standard of living. Yes, me. The adaptation activities initiated by CARE are a good start, but it is important that decision makers see the need to support these activities and consider this in policy documents. They also need to allocate budget for this. Once this is achieved, we are confident that the activities are continued when care leaves. Do people in other coastal areas have similar problems? What are they doing about it? We share the knowledge in community learning centers. We put our hazard maps and information material about our activities there. 
If people from other villages want to get more information on adaptation, they can come here. We also share our experiences on online platforms like We Adapt, that people from other countries can learn from us and we from them. Sharing knowledge is a great idea. I would love to share all the things I learned today with my community. It's time to go back to my folks. Thanks a lot, fishermen. Today I learned a lot, my friends. The environment is changing and there are some things I call climate change, which leads to climate-related extreme weather events, shifting of seasonal patterns, rising temperature. Climate change is happening and we will not be able to stop it. But even if we do not exactly know what's going to happen, we can start responding now in order to adapt our lives to our changing environment. With preparation, everybody can prevent the occurrence of environmental disasters, create diversified income sources, and maintain the Earth's ecosystem, which is more important than ever.